we exploit the structure of many of these problems that tells us that there is lurking beneath this 10 million dimensional space, there's actually a low dimensional subspace where the real action lies. I'm delighted now to be joined by Professor Omar Gattas, whose talk is entitled Large Scale Stochastic PDE Constrained Optimization. Omar, thank you so much for joining us. Thank um, you, Sam. It's a real pleasure to be here. Can you start by telling us what the focus of your talk is going to be? Certainly. The class of problems that I focus on are optimization problems, specifically optimal design and optimal control. The, the key idea is that these systems that we're trying to design or control are governed by very complex mathematical models in the form of partial differential equations, that's the PDE part. Uh, and a, a crucial aspect is that the design or control is to be optimized under uncertainty. So what's the impact then of, the, of randomness on these kinds of, of problems? Well, it makes the control or the design more robust. Let's say there's a contaminant, there's the chemical contaminant, that's leached down into the groundwater towards the water supply of the town. And what you'd like to do is to remediate it so you can pose it as an optimization problem. You can say, well, I'd like to minimize the concentration of the contaminant that reaches the town. And the, the, the model, you need a model of how the contaminant is transported through the subsurface. And that's given by partial differential equations that represent the conservation of mass and the, and the conservation of the contaminant itself. But all this has to be done under uncertainty because the, this, this thing I call permeability, which is you know, the ability of, of, uh, of fluid to flow through the surface, the resistance to it, that is uncertain. We don't know it precisely. It's an entire continuum. So, of course, when we get to the computer, everything has to be converted from infinite dimensional to finite dimensions. You know, we can't compute with infinity on the computer. So what we do is we partition the subsurface into a grid, and then every, every point on this grid that becomes a random variable. So it represents the, the soil property uh, as a random variable, which means there's a distribution. It, it doesn't have a number, it has a distribution. Oh, it's a probability, it could be this, 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 and then what's the probability? So that's how we get a very high dimensional um, stochastic optimization problem. So the mathematics is, is, it belongs to the class of stochastic optimization problems. And how can PDEs become too expensive to solve? in these situations? Sure. Uh, so because of the randomness, we are trying to solve an optimization problem that's in, that has randomness in 10 million dimensions. You know, the Earth could, could take on any property. So if we choose one of those points, then we'd have to go solve the forward model. And the forward model is in the form of these differential equations. And it, you know, it can take minutes to maybe even hours on a, on a large computer. But now that's at every point in parameter space. And if we're in 10 million dimensional parameter space, random parameter space, then you know, you'd think, well, if, if, you know, if any point in space is probable, we might have to visit every single point. And therefore, what, we're, we're solving the forward model tens of millions, hundreds of millions of times. And, and what solutions are you proposing? We exploit the structure of many of these problems that tells us that there is lurking beneath this 10 million dimensional space, there's actually a low dimensional subspace where the real action lies. Uh, in other words, these problems appear to be very high dimensional, but you know, nature would not be so perverse as to give us this very high dimensional problem that didn't have low dimensional structure. I mean, this is what we believe. Uh, and mathematically, you can show this, and you can show that it's really not 10 million, it's really maybe 100 dimensional, but there's a 100 dimensional subspace in which the control parameters and the random variables affect the thing we're trying to control. And so if we can come up with ways of computing, of detecting this mapping between the 100 dimensions and the thing we care about, so if we can find these, 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 these hidden 100 dimensions, then the problem becomes much easier. What might some of the applications that work that you're doing at the moment have uh, further afield? So in my group, we are working on half a dozen problems that fit in, into the same framework of stochastic optimization with models that are governed by PDEs. Uh, I'll give you a few examples. One is the optimal management of groundwater in order not to cause collapse of an aquifer. Uh, another one is how do you optimally design a plasma fusion device, uh, in particular the coils that wrap around it, and this is a problem with, that is designed under uncertainty because the coil geometry is not precisely known when you build it. 
it's absolutely fascinating. I think we could speak uh, all day about it. But thank you so much for joining us. I wish you the very best for your talk. Thank you very much. Thanks, Emma. So it's been Thank a real you. pleasure.